What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I want to talk about something different, something outside of Call of Duty, but still in like the Twitch entertainment realm. Today, we're going to be talking about Ryan Higa or Niga Higa, as uh, his YouTube name was. And um, yeah, let's just talk about him. It's going to be kind of a chill commentary. Just want to talk about his experience on YouTube and basically what happened to him on Twitch. I'm going to explain why he was at least, I guess, temporarily banned from Twitch. Uh, and honestly, it's not a good reason. And we'll, we'll talk about it. So uh, let's let's get into all that. Let's get into my thoughts on him as well. So Ryan Higa is one of the content creators that I actually watched uh, as a kid. You know, like he's very old school. I think he started uploading maybe 2005 or six, something like that. So uh, when I first joined YouTube or, you know, started watching videos on YouTube around 2010, 2011 ish, uh, I noticed a lot of his stuff was, you know, in my recommended or whatever. I clicked on his stuff and uh, I just, I thought it was funny. You know, I thought it was creative. I thought it was funny. It was very unique. You know, a lot of the stuff he did is not the same as what, you know, other people did. And that's something I really, you know, admire about certain creators on this platform, you know, not to take any shots, but like, for instance, in the Call of Duty community, uh, there's many people doing best settings videos, best class, you know, best gun, what, whatever, you know, it's kind of the same video with the same thumbnail just over and over again, you know, like they talk for two minutes and then show like a 20 minute Warzone live com or something, you know, it's, it's kind of the same old, same old, and there, there's nothing wrong with it in per se, but what I appreciate about certain creators on YouTube and even Twitch is the ability to kind of like think for yourself and make unique content. You know, when you think of Ryan Higa, you don't think of, um, I don't know, just a, a news reporting channel or a commentary channel, right? You don't, you don't think of that. When you think of 402 Thunder, you know, you know, he's not going to BS you. He's not going to say, uh, I don't know, the Krig is the best gun in Cold War when he hasn't played Cold War in months. You know, like he's not going to BS you. He's just going to be straight up. So when you think of certain people, you know, you think of certain things about them. And I think when I think about Ryan, I think he is unique, creative, funny, you know, honest. And I think he's admirable. He's an admirable guy to look up to. Some of you guys may or may not know, but he actually pretty much stopped uploading on YouTube. I think there's a reason why, but I don't want to say without, you know, being 100% sure. My guess is because of partial creativity slash burnout and partially because YouTube kind of like screws you over and, you know, he puts in a lot of effort on his videos. You know, it's not really like my videos where you just sit down for like 10, 15 minutes, record, edit for like 20 minutes. It's 30 minutes and then you know you're good to go whatever you know it's it's not like mine he puts in days maybe weeks at a time or he used to for those kinds of videos and it turns out you know when you put in weeks into something and you don't see a dime back not that you're doing youtube for money but to not see something back because of, I don't know, false strikes or ads don't want to promote or sponsorships don't like you or whatever for some reason. And also adding the fact that we're in 2021 and you can get canceled for having bad breath. So, you know, it's it's not a safe platform. You can't curse in YouTube videos. You can't show certain things. Um, I think you can't make certain jokes anymore. Like some of the jokes I'm pretty sure he's made uh, back in like 2010 or 20, 2009, whatever, uh, they would not slide today. You know, 100% not, he would get canceled people would be all over that. So since he's not doing YouTube anymore, he's actually moved on to Twitch. And I think some of you guys, probably most of you guys knew that at this point. Uh, sometimes he does just chatting. Sometimes he does Valorant or other games. I don't think he plays Call of Duty to my knowledge, but uh, apparently he was hit with a ban on Twitch on March 25th, which was two days ago at the time of you guys watching this, for hateful conduct while in the middle of an Among Us match. And... Oof, man, that, that, man, how can you be hatefully, like, I, I don't understand it. I, I really don't. I tried to, I tried to wrap my head around this. About 20 minutes later, you know, after he realized he was banned or whatever, uh, he was unbanned and Twitch apologized for the mistake. He revealed to his viewers later, he said it was a wrongful banning. Uh, it was identified that shouldn't have happened in the first place. I'm going to play a clip right now of him basically explaining the situation and then we'll wrap it up from there. I don't even know. They didn't tell me because I would like to know what got me banned <laughs> like i want to know what not to say you know at least for the future because maybe it is really offensive and i just don't realize it that's all i want to know like just send me some kind of like or was it a complete mistake i can't imagine that they missed like they, they banned somebody with a typo you know what i mean anyway it was concerning, like I like I tweeted or I retweeted. For the people who don't have that ability, um, it's kind of scary. For like people up and coming, 
Uh, I would even consider Been myself that, but you people since who fifth grade now I am in second year uni. Well, thank you, chicken. Uh, people who don't have that connection, I think that's very concerning for all of you that probably even in here that that are trying to, you know, make Twitch your thing. I'm sure there's some of you here. Um, I don't know. All right, so now that you guys are back and. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, he basically just sums it up. He says, like, they didn't tell me. I would like to know what got me banned. What exactly did he say? Maybe it was offensive and he didn't realize it. The thing is, I think it was just dumb on their part. You know, uh, Twitch didn't really give a real reason. They kind of just said, oh, it was hateful conduct. And then 20 minutes later, oops, sorry, it was a mistake. Uh, I don't know if, you know, maybe some person was moderating the stream or something, you know, from the Twitch site, not like a, you know, Ryan's mod or whatever. Uh, maybe like one of the moderators was just like fed up at that time or something and they just wrongfully banned him for some reason. Or, you know, maybe they were having a vendetta. I, I don't know exactly, but like either way, Twitch's incorrect ban and just the ability to just crack down and kind of ruin, you know, a stream, maybe ruin an entire streamer's career. You know, like if, like imagine if Ryan's, uh, you know, stream didn't get unbanned in the same day, or maybe it took him like a week or something. That's some people's livelihoods. You know, a lot of people rely on Twitch or YouTube or these kind of things to uh, earn income, to, you know, to live, to pay bills, to get food, all that kind of stuff. Ryan is lucky in this case, I think because he's partnered and, you know, pretty big name on YouTube or uh, Twitch rather. Uh, I think because he has all these connections and whatever, uh, they are able to kind of fix his situation a lot quicker. But, you know, for some people who are just up and coming streamers, there's no transparency. There's no loyalty on Twitch. Like it's, it's, it's dangerous. You know, you really can't trust it. You can't be, you really can't be feeling like super secure or anything, especially in uh, Twitch and you never know what they're going to do. Maybe you accidentally say something wrong or maybe you don't even say something wrong and they think you did and you get banned, you get clapped, your account goes bye-bye or whatever. And that's, that's a lot of followers. That's a lot of subscriptions, a lot of people who might not come back or whatever. All I'm saying guys is it's dangerous out there. Stay safe. If you're a streamer, if you're a YouTuber, a content creator, whatever, um, I wanted to bring to light this attention because I personally, I'm a big fan of Ryan Higa. Um, he's one of my bigger inspirations for making YouTube videos and just watching YouTube in general. Uh, I've spent probably days of my life now watching his videos, rewatching videos, and I really appreciate what he's done for you know a lot of content creators. He's very inspirational, one of the first guys on YouTube to make it without you know selling out, without selling his soul, and just being creative. And uh, you know, I respect it a lot. I respect him a lot. And for Twitch to ban someone like him is just it's inexcusable and I'm not a big fan of it. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't, you know, COD or gaming related, but I thought, you know, a Twitch video here and there, you know, it's something to talk about. So why not throw it in? And, you know, if you learned something, if you thought it was interesting, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more kind of videos like this, uh, let me know in the description, or not in the description, <laughs> let me know in the comment section and hit a like, you know, if you really enjoyed it, hit a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.